Hey guys, Kat here from Three Ears Media and The Van Life. And I am here today to talk to you about my first stab at creating generative AI. And it is this job title generator. And I think a lot of people market their roles with the title they already have because they feel like maybe it's a bait and switch or the candidates will be mad when they find out that's the real title. But here's the truth that I'm learning. If you don't use the right title, no one's going to find your job posting. If you don't call it the right thing, the candidate can't find it. And then it doesn't matter how good your content is. It doesn't matter how precise you were and creative and all those things you think you're doing. If no one finds it, it doesn't matter. And that's why I took a stab at creating this job title generator. So what you're going to do here at the top is enter the daily activities of a role. And then this tool will tell you a few job titles that you might use for a job like this. So I might enter social media posts, uh, meeting with marketing teams, running analytics for executives. Okay. And it really can be that simple. Enter a few of those tasks. And what this tool is going to do, if you give it a couple of minutes, it's going to give you three alternative job titles that this person who has these types of responsibilities might have. If I'm a recruiter reading this, I'm going to take these job titles and first Google them with the word resume. So social media manager resume, digital marketing coordinator resume, and I might scan those resumes to see which backgrounds best align with my job. Then the final test you need to do is go over to Google Trends. That's T-R-E-N-D-S dot Google dot com. And you'll be able to compare the traffic for each of these job titles. So you'll enter each of them side by side. You'll enter the date range, which should always be longer than a year. And you'll be able to compare which one gets the most traffic. And that would be my recommendation for the marketing. Just remember to tell the candidate early and often. That means we're going to tell the candidate about the internal job title, meaning the job title they will get when they get an offer letter at the first phone screen. And again, before you send the offer so that we're extra clear on what that internal job title is and there's none of this switcheroo and last minute confusion. I want you to make sure and subscribe to this channel. I'm always creating new tools and tips to help recruiters be even better. And this is just one of them. I'll make sure the link is available. Hit subscribe now and stay on board for the next update.